All right, folks. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, decided to get some new lifters for the uh, for the engine. Uh, there was a little bit of scarring on the other ones that I was using. So for the peace of mind, I went ahead and purchased a new set. Now for these lifters to work in my engine, they have to be clearanced for the oil to supply oil to the top end for the push rods and the valves. So what I have to do is I have to put a small groove right there from the oil inlet or well from the oil passage to that little inlet so it can give oil up through the push rods and uh, up to the valve train. So I'm just going to be using a Dremel with a tiny cutoff wheel. Um, I've already done this before. It was pretty easy, but uh, I used a smaller wheel this time. I think it's getting a little bit too much oil to the top end, which would lower your overall oil pressure and the amount of volume going to the main bearings and whatnot. So, well, we'll see how this goes. Just gonna go ahead and uh, start hacking on it. So my goal here is to put about a 30 thousandths little, little divot, if you can see. I mean, you can bear, I mean, you can feel it obviously, but it's just a tiny little groove, just enough to get some oil up in there because the, the lifter bore is just a little tight. So that'll send uh, adequate oil up to the top end you don't want to send too much because, I mean, the valve train just needs to stay lubricated. It doesn't need to be bathed in it at all times. You don't need to have, you know, two, three quarts of oil filling up your, um, filling up your valve covers. Just enough to keep things nice, coated, and lubricated. Um, so I think this will do the trick. So I'm just going to do 16 more of these just like that. And, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Then I'm just going to go ahead and pour this whole um, packaging full of oil just to make sure, you know, everything stays corrosion free. And also, just to point out, I did this um, the first time. I'm only cutting holes or cutting grooves in these first two holes here. I'm not, I'm not even doing anything on the back side. It gets plenty of oil. Well, that's all there is to it. 16 done. Um, it's really pretty easy. The only thing that does or would suck is if you know you go ahead and do this or you don't do this and then you don't have oil to the top end, at least with the heads I'm running. You can't actually take these tie bar lifters out because they're so tall up here without taking off the heads. So it is something that's very frustrating if you've got a redo that you have to retake off the heads the valve um well the heads and intake manifold and all that and you know if you have your carburetor or whatever you have on top of that you have to remove all of it but it's just a little detail uh that i have to do in order to uh make this work with my program so i'm just gonna fill these full of oil just let them sit until the motor's ready to be put back together. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs>